Welcome back guys, Venom here with another video. Right, this is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and after the maintenance today on the 27th of April, uh, we are back with a brand new uh, return of Kefka. Right, so this is the uh, update, the second week uh, of that fishy, fishy event where you get the fish as those uh, bonus, those, those currency to buy from King Mog. Right, so this is the Psycho Clown where the uh, Kef comes into play. Right, let's beat this guy uh, for the second time. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've beaten him already just to try him out and uh, obviously do my research online and uh, beat him to get those achievements. Right, so uh, you only get, uh, you don't get any fishes for this. You only get the achievement, which is uh, use an item in the battle to get 10,000 uh, fishes. Uh, the second achievement is to get uh, is to defeat Kefka with the limit burst. I have not done that, right? Because I did uh, I did have a limit burst to use on him, which was the Ling's one. Um, but uh, because of Ling's uh, slow animation for her uh, limit burst, uh, I killed him. I killed Kefka with uh, my Noctis, and uh, the limit burst didn't wasn't part of the chain. That's why it didn't count as uh, defeating Kefka with the limit burst. So um, I need to do that one. Right, evoke uh, Carbuncle and Diablos. Right, so I've done that. It it uh, takes a while to build up these espers. Uh, so you have to get those green orbs from auto attacking or using skills. Uh, but getting those orbs definitely takes a long time. So you're gonna have to buy your time with that to get that last uh, great mage's robe. Right, let's get down to uh, beating this guy again. Then right, so. Uh, it takes a little bit of a strategy to beat this uh, Kefka. Uh, right, so choosing a partner, this is quite important. You want to choose an ally with no element on his attacks. So, um, not, did I choose this guy again? again? So, Excalibur, no, no. And it's quite annoying because nobody changes their allies to have one that. What is Golden Blade? What is that? I've never even seen this weapon before. I don't know where, that get, where he gets that. Alright, so I might use this Gilgamesh. He's only got 758 attack, which should be enough. Uh, or, or actually, maybe I should use a Magic. Use a Magic person. Or a Landu? I need to use a magic person. Right, let's go for Terra. Uh, yeah, okay, 800. What abilities does she have? The magic. Pandara. She's got a pump daggers. Oh, Faraga? She's got only got Faraga, is that it? Oh, she's used to say. Right, don't want that. So you want to choose somebody with uh, either high physical damage or somebody can deal a lot of uh, elemental damage so Kefka is quite, quite, quite weak against uh, elemental damage but you've got to hit it at the right time that's uh, that's the whole strategy of this this battle so you want to choose uh, somebody with high uh, it's really hard to choose an ally choosing an ally is probably the hardest part I can probably beat this with uh, does that count as light? So if I do Fire Flask with an Excalibur on uh, Noctis, does it count as light? I don't know. I'm going to try it out for you guys anyway, right? So I'm going to try out this uh, Noctis with Excalibur. So physical uh, attacks is going to have uh, it's going to have a light element to it, but I don't know whether you if you cast those uh, if you cast like Fire Flask, I don't know whether it, it has um, light element to it. Hopefully it doesn't. Right, so my lineup is uh, Noctis. I have 900 attack on him. He's going to be my high attack uh, damager. So I put Diablos, uh, Diablos on him because I need to summon that for my uh, achievement, or you do anyway. I've already done it. Uh, but also Diablos also has Man Eater, which is uh, I think kept as a man. Uh, Cloud of Darkness, uh, with which is my, my another one of my uh, another one of my high attack. Uh, elements, uh, uh, unit, sorry. So she also has uh, elemental resist, so I'm going to use that uh, on her. And uh, she has comeback as well, which is remove status from all allies. 
Uh, okay, I have Cecile, this is a tank. He needs to have higher SPR, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Refia or Estola for dual cast Kuraja. So if you don't have dual cast TM, uh, use Estola instead. And I have Lang, which is my breaker. You don't actually need a breaker because you can't break the enemy's uh, magic and attack because he will dispel each turn. Right, I'm going to use Ligging anyway because uh, she can uh, decrease the defense and SPR of the enemy. Right, let's depart. Espers, Espers all right. Right, let's get to it. Sorry about my hair, by the way. I've just washed my hair, ready to bed. You see my Dragon Ball t-shirt. She went to sleep. Uh, but here we go. Right, so this is the this is the first battle actually that the enemy actually attacks first. So my brother's been complaining that uh, not complaining, but he's actually been like, oh, why do we always start first? Why do the enemies never get to attack first? Uh, but he actually said that, after he said that, you know, out comes Kafka who attacks you seven times or five times, whatever he does. He attacks you before you can do anything. Uh, okay, so, right, first turn, anyway, uh, you want to get all your resist your defense up. Okay, so Cloud of Darkness for the elemental uh, defense, uh, Refia for her uh, defense defense, and you have uh, Cecile for his SPR defense. Uh, Ling will... Ling will do nothing but... Okay, so you can do Dance of Death uh, because you can actually blind Kefka. You can actually blind Kefka, but uh, he... Uh, There's a small chance to blind him, so I'm just going to use Fire Flask for both Noctises. Yeah, okay, so you can blind Kefka. So all his physical, death, physical attacks um, has a chance to miss so you want to blind him the first time, like uh, the first turn, and get the, his physical attacks out of the way. Okay, as you can see, uh, Kefka each turn will do one uh, element or attack on you. So in this case, he's done uh, Zaga. Uh, after he does his elemental attack, his uh, of the opposite element will be broken on him. Therefore, you can actually use that element to attack him with. Okay, so I think it gets enhanced uh, by reducing defense and SPR. So if you have like Noctis's uh, Fire Flask on, uh, yeah, Fire Flask on Kefka, uh, you can actually use Fire Flask and hit him with that. Okay, so I'm not going to do that because I need to build up uh, enough limit bursts. I need to build up enough. Uh, Rage, the rage limit, limit rage for my limit burst. Okay, so uh, I need to build up enough for that. So what I'm going to do is just a few auto attacks. Out of darkness, auto attack. Cecile, Raja. I could provoke, but no, I'm going to use Raja instead. So if you want a uh, limit burst, just uh, keep auto attacking. If you want the Esper gauge to go up, uh, just keep auto attacking as well. Right, so Kefka doesn't actually hit that hard if you have all your buffs up. So you have SPR, uh, defense, and elemental buffs, uh, all that stuff. Uh, he doesn't actually hit that hard. So as you can see, I've still got a lot of HP, and then it's fine. So this is the second turn. Um, you want to count these turns because every nine turns, Kefka will uh, he will do a massive attack. So usually on the eighth turn, you guard, uh, keep your guard up, and survive the next turn with it. Right, so uh, he has blinded all my people. So I'm going to go with Dance of Blind. And uh, his ice element ha has dropped because he did uh, Faraga, so obviously the opposite element is ice. So you're going to hit him with Lizaga in this turn and it will do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to hit him, but I don't want to kill him, so I need my limit first. So I'm going to hit him with these two. Cloud of Darkness will... I'll just get another elemental resist buff. And then a Silver Provoke. I probably didn't need a dual cast Karaja at that time. But see, so you can... Uh, when he has those elemental resist or physical resist down, uh, you can hit him with it and actually hurt him instead of tickling him. Alright, so uh, as you can see, uh, when you get to the 8% threshold, he will actually do uh, 
quite a significant amount of damage and uh, maybe if you didn't have 5000 HP uh, some of your characters might actually die uh, to that but lucky for me I have a lot of HP let's go for focus again uh, Ling will Ling is fine all right I've only just noticed this but uh, after he gets to his threshold he'll actually remove that blind as well so you can just try to blind him again blind you ah, see it's actually quite hard to blind him so if you can't blind him just uh, just auto attack oh, I'm supposed to auto attack on my limit first Alright, so it's actually quite an easy battle. You can actually kill him straight out in one or two turns or three turns or whatever. Like three attacks. You can kill him with two attacks actually. Uh, but if you need if you want those achievements, uh, then you go for buying time and stalling. All right, so he's uh, weak to wind wind resistance. If you don't know what that icon is, just uh, press and hold on him and it'll tell you there lowers wind resistance. So in this case uh, nobody on my team has got wind attacks. So I'll just leave it to auto attack. One Karaji would do. He has provoke on him. I think I already cast it down. To cast that. Right, so everybody just auto attack and ref here. Cures. Right, so you just build up your Esper gauge and you build up your limit burst gauge just by auto attacking. There we go. So uh, I've got here, I've got Ling on the team, she can actually give her limit first uh, to allies. Uh, I'm supposed to be counting the turns because on the 8th turn I need to guard. I think it's the 5th turn now. This will be the 5th turn I think. Uh, you want to wait for the ninth turn because the ninth turn will come up... Um, where Kefka will lower his defense and that way you can use Noctis or your attackers with limit, attacking limit bursts to uh, deal damage that you need do you get me? right, focus oh he's uh, weak to dark, I should have used COD the call of uh, the void but no worries I should be able to kill him with uh, just the Noctis ultis actually yeah I should be able to be with just the ultis alright wow uh, grab, grab it girl which does three, three quarters of everybody's HP Ling dies uh, I'm going to use Noctis to back. Noctis is going to come back. Right, so uh, dual cast Karaja, dual cast Karaja. Right, so Wing has full limit burst. You can give that to my Noctis. Right, he's weak to light resistance now. So he's weak to light resistance. I think if I do warp break, it should do light damage. Yeah, okay, so the ally does actually do something. It's actually useful. Pass provoke. So, warp break uh, from my Noctis is actually a uh, light element now, it's not, it's not physical. So, so, when it gets to the ninth turn. My ally Noxus is not going to do. Oh! Why does he hit so hard now? I don't get it. I thought all that resistance. Why is he hitting so hard? Alright. Alright then. That's how it's going to be. So I have two Noctis and a ref here, that's why I can revive uh, all the people that die. But uh, in your case, you're going to need to 
keep everybody alive somehow. So that's why you need to keep the uh, SPR up and your defense up and that kind of stuff. Oh, he did Ultima, that's why. I think it's his threshold. So when he gets to 80%, 60%, he'll do those attacks. Uh, or either it's got a chance to do those moves. So I think this might be the sixth turn. I need to guard maybe on the next turn and the, the turn afterwards. So, how many turns is this, Cecile? So I need to give this to my ally. Let's put cover on. Labor's running out of mana. It's getting a bit laggy. Let's boost. <laughs> so when it says laughing wildly, you know you're safe because uh, he's not doing his ninth turn move. Okay, wheat to water. I don't have any water on my team. Roger. So I've got one limit burst there. If I can get Cloud of Darkness's uh, limit burst up, that should be handy. But uh, running out, running out MP. Cure everybody of blindness. Defend with Cecilia. Then it's not just going to it's not just going to defend. Oh, it's not working. All right, so the Noctis, uh, the ally Noctis, is not getting any of those uh, gems up because he's got light damage. Uh, because uh, Kefka's got light, light um, element resist two hundred percent. You're not going to get any gems because it's not doing any damage there. Okay, so I think this turn I need to. Right, Earth Persistence is down. On this turn, I need to guard. I need to do this one. Guard, 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 guard. I'm just going to guard with everybody. So I know it's one of these uh, few turns that he's going to do. Kefka okay, is skipping. His magic power is raging, and I think he should go blind. Yeah, okay. His eyes are bloodshot. That's when uh, his defense is down. And that's when you can hit him with everything you've got. So hopefully guarding actually does something. Yeah, okay. Guarding is perfect. So when you... Uh, it's perfect for this case because I've just uh, guarded against his attack. Uh, right, so for this case, you want to deal as much damage as you, you can, as you, as you can, as you can. Oh, my attack is already up. So hopefully I can kill... Oops. Hopefully I can kill uh, Kefka with just... Just that one... Just that one Noctis of mine. So I can't do any damage. I can't do any damage with uh, this Noctis. Absolutely useless. Focus. Right, so hopefully, hopefully I can kill him with my Noctis. Oh, wasted. So there goes uh, my limit burst achievement. I might just do that another time, but I'm basically just showing you a guide on how to beat Kefka. So if uh, you just want to kill him quickly, you uh, use elemental burst on him. Uh, when he has the element down, for instance, if he's, he uses Foraga, he has his uh, ice element down. I think you can just chain move. 
uh, behavior and that kind of stuff. Or just ha have everyone, if you have your whole team as like uh, xdef or whatever, I think you should, you should be able to nuke him down in uh, one or two turns. But if you want those achievements, you're going to have to uh, play it the long way like I have just just now on this recording, oh, which is taking me ages. Um, and shoot him down. So I can't get this uh, achievement because I've got no limit bursts to do so. I think I might have just killed him. Oh no. Oh, I might be able to do it. His power is raging. Oh, I think he's going to kill everybody except Cloud of Darkness. Oh no, it's just a normal attack thingy. That's fine. It's just normal attack thingy. So, uh, right, so I might be able to. How much HP does he have? Give some limit this. Okay, perfect. Right, so now I'm just going to do Cloud of Darkness. Hopefully, hopefully I just killed him with my limit burst from Cloud of Darkness. If I have, perfect. That's all my free achievements done. All right. So the Esper one, you should build up. Just build up your Espers, your Carbuncle, and your Diablos. Make sure you have them on your team. Uh, just summon them once, like both of them once, and you complete that achievement. Uh, limit burst one, just as I did. You have to kill him with a limit burst. It could be part of the chain or whatever. Um, and the last one is yes. The last one is use an item. So any any time throughout the whole battle, that long battle, you just use uh, like a potion or something. And that is basically it, guys. That is the uh, Kefka event for you. Thanks for watching. I know I've been uh, away for a long while. I've been uploading. Uh, I've been busy as well as uh, a lot of other stuff to do. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. This is the uh, Kefka event. I uh, will see you in the next episode.